on the next episode of The Walking Dead. You ignore the truth when it's staring you in the face. I would never betray Alpha. She loves us all. Alpha drew a line and you need to choose which side you're on. Welcome to Not Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I am Josh. And today we're here to give our predictions for episode 7 of The Walking Dead, Open Your Eyes. This is going to be a crazy episode. Uh, even in the teaser trailer that we're going to break down, there's a lot that's going on. We're going to get so much stuff. It's going to be crazy leading up to the mid-season finale. Definitely seems like it's action-packed, guys. And, and a lot of info, too. Yeah, so yeah definitely. Yeah. Uh, let's start off with the synopsis here. It goes, Carol pushes boundaries that make Daryl uncomfortable. Alpha and Beta have reservations about someone. Well, the second part, we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, reservations? I think it's massive reservations. Now, we can't. I can't wait, and I'm sure you can't either. We know how Beta feels about... Negan. Absolutely. Now we're going to see what Alpha thinks. Yeah. He, he came back and we're going to see he he bent the knee and <laughs> we're going to see I, you know, I what she thinks. I definitely think that she's going to kind of take that comic book story role where she puts up with it, but she's really annoyed by him. Mm -hmm. um, and she, in the comic book, um, confides in him. Um, yes. In the short time that yeah. they know each other. So it'll be really interesting to see if they follow that storyline where here right now we know we have kind of a bit of a broken alpha mm -hmm. uh, with regards to Lydia. So we'll see if that traverses to the show. Yeah, I don't know if Negan will mention Lydia. I, I think Negan is going to do his his masterminding work to really infiltrate and not let them know. Now, they know that he was a prisoner but he doesn't. They don't know the other side of it, where he knows a lot. He knows a lot about these people, but he's not going to tell them that he was, you know, he's a changed man of what he used to be. He's yeah. going to portray I mean, himself as Negan of old. Yeah. In this and group. those of you that know the comic book, this really isn't a prediction, but he is right. not going to um, sell out the survivors. No. Um, he's I not. I am fully on board that Negan is reformed. Yep. Um, and that he Change is man. simply doing what he's doing now. As a way to take down the Whisperers. Help the cause. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Carol pushes boundaries that make Daryl uncomfortable. This is going to lead into the prisoner that they brought, one of the Whisperers. This is something that Daryl did not like. He knew that she lied to him. And that now bringing a Whisperer into Alexandria, here's one thing. If he, rec if he sees Lydia, boom. You know, would that... Now there were people saying, well, if he sees Lydia, would it change his mind and help turn on Alpha? Probably not. No. But they're probably going to keep Lydia in her cell, and he's going to be in a different cell. Now, what's weird, though, is like we don't know the many cells they have, because they're bringing him yeah. into a cell, and the only cell we know of is where Lydia is. Well, is Lydia still Unless there? Unless they pull her out. Is Lydia you know? still there? Right. I, I think this is the same cell. I think this is Negan's cell. Um, but, I, you know... The, we did, when we first read this synopsis back when we did the synopsis reveal, we had it, yeah. no idea what this was go what was going on with this particular part of the episode. Well, now we know they have a whisperer, and mm -hmm. it, it'll be interesting to see not just Daryl's point of view, but the rest of the community and how they react to this happening. Because clearly, lines have been crossed, boundaries have been broken more than what Alpha said in the beginning, which was "Don't cross into our territory." Well, now you've stolen one of her whisperers. Yeah, and that's going to put. There's already fear and paranoia already for the whispers. This is going to ignite. I wouldn't say mutiny, but it's going. To, you're going to get people who are against it and for it. Yeah. People are going to be like, Let, "Let's interrogate them. Let's find out where the horde is. What they're going to do." People are going to be like, "You're actually bringing another whisperer." In. So there's going to be people who are going to compare it to them bringing in Lydia. Man, I hope they. So, I hope they do the scene of them first walking into Alexandria with this whisperer yeah. and the reaction. Of people, people just like walking that. by, like this is going to be blindfolded. Yep. Um, oh, I can't wait to see that. It's going to be sweet. So let's get into the trailer breakdown of the trailer that they did. And I had to grab a bunch of pictures because there were so many like quick shots that they do. Yeah. But it, we're going to be getting the sickness. And we see Sadiq coming into the room. And it's kind of an over wide view of just so many people getting sick. They don't now know we, what this is yet. We, we know why they're getting sick. And yes. that is obviously they're drinking the water that is around Alexandria. So, we or, or the creek that's by Alexandria yeah. that, that 
that um, gamma is poisoning. We just don't know what that's doing to them. Is it, you know, at first they're thinking it's a stomach bug, but they're getting a fever. Does it do anything else? Wouldn't it, wouldn't Wait till a little bit later for another picture. We'll see. Yeah, wouldn't it be sweet if it actually turned some people? I think there is going to be a few deaths. We'll see. There's a couple oh, of things in this absolutely. in this trailer. Uh, so as Sadiq is looking at this, he kind of has another PTSD moment where Alpha is standing outside wearing the same dress that she wore when she infiltrated. It's awesome. Isn't that sick, dude? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be so crazy. So right here, uh, this is a this is I think this is a real shot, not a P, not a flashback or PTSD moment and it's an up wider shot. I think there are people who are going to who are going to die I think from that this is sequence. going to be the older lady, the first one that came in. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. That would make sense. I, I think that's going to be her. I think yeah, maybe because her case was her just, and Don, uh, uh, Sadiq and Dante were close to her. Yeah. Um, with Sadiq in that shot, I just mm -hmm. have a feeling it's definitely her. Yeah. So we do get the mysterious whisperer who is being led into the jail by Daryl and Carol. Uh, in the trailer, we you know, we hear him kind of saying, "I will never betray Alpha." We Alpha also, loves we us all. We also see him getting threatened, like they're gonna cut his fingers off. Yeah, that's why his hand is up. Daryl kind of <laughs> pulls a knife out. So obviously, Daryl is um, welcoming this concept of bringing him in because mm -hmm. Daryl's the one threatening him. But right now, they're trying to find out where the horde is. Yeah. And so we get to see Carol and Lydia. So I think maybe Carol is taking Lydia out, showing her the ropes, maybe getting more information. Like, where do you think your mom would take this horde? Where do you think that she would move them from where they were before to another location? Because Lydia would possibly know the movements Or, or is this and Alexandria routes. threatening Carol? Like, now we have one bargaining chip left. So she's and protecting that is her. Lydia. So they're use, they're protecting her, or because, maybe they're making her return her. No, I don't think they would do that. I would think more would be more of protecting, probably her. protecting him. Yeah. So um, this is where we're gonna get more info on Gamma and Aaron. They are meeting each other, and in this shot, as Aaron is approaching her, we see another border. She is holding like a piece of paper, and she is kind of like extending this paper. I don't know if it's a note, if it's a map. We'll find out. But this interaction is going to be interesting because later on in this teaser, I think something's going to happen. We'll get to it. Yeah, so. definitely. I mean, is this is this her genuinely reaching out to him or is this her playing the mole role? Playing the mole or maybe she could be defecting. Yeah. Stay tuned. There's a couple pictures in here. So we do get more with Sadiq having PTSD flashbacks. We see this shot right here is Graveyard. in the barn. Graveyard in the barn. We see a couple whispers. There's yeah. an alpha back there. And I think there was a sneak peek where he's freaking out. He runs and he jumps in like a pool or something to I kind mean, of clear his head. Shape. And he opens his eyes. We see him open his eyes there. And it's like, I don't know if this is maybe his realization. Like, oh, I remember. Or holy, just holy crap. What am, I what's happening to I remember. me? I, I hope think we we're going to get something. I hope we get a full flashback to that scene. Yeah, because open your eyes. We heard that when he was freaking out. We heard Alpha and Beta say that. And that is still our prediction is that I believe they forced him to cut heads off and participate, you know, forcefully, not willingly. He had to do it. Yeah, um, he's, not know, a, he's not a he's not a whisperer spy. He did not set them up. I know there's still that theory out there, too. I just don't know what to think you about know? that. I mean, I think it's a great theory. Yeah. But I just think Sadiq is the type of person that if you're going to make him do that, he would resist. He, he would want to die. He would say, kill me. Right. That's true, and that's the thing that's still getting us as yeah. well. We just can't think he would, you know, completely destroy our our group by trading, being a traitor. But yeah. we'll have to see what happens. Uh, so this is kind of where you know Carol's like, look, this is the only way, and this is things that Daryl just doesn't want to do. Uh, he's gonna participate in doing what he can to get information out. Uh, I wonder if this is the guy that Daryl in the, the San Diego Comic Con trailer, like we see him punch. You know, we see yeah. him punch. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is the guy, like he punches. So, here's the thing with Gamma and Alpha. Look at this shot right here. Alpha is looking at Gamma with a look on her face like, I caught you, because the next shot, Gamma looks very surprised. So I'm wondering, even though Alpha told Gamma to put on a new mask with Aaron, I'm wondering if Gamma is actually, in a way, opening up to Aaron so much to where she's starting to maybe wanting to defect and 
there could be other whisperers around watching and hearing this. Yeah, I reporting wonder... back to Alpha, and she's looking at her like, I'm so disappointed in you. I, I'm almost wondering if this is not at the Whisperer camp that Alpha has surprised Gamma on other... After she met with Aaron? After she met with Aaron she when everything. she wasn't supposed to. When she wasn't supposed to. Yes. Yeah. 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 So this is Gamma turning around and Alpha standing right there saying, you just messed up. Or she's coming back in the direction and, Aunt, and Alpha's just standing there and she surprises That's sick. her. I think that might be. I think, Al I think Gamma wants to defect... I think Aaron is getting playing the nice guy and also getting information and telling her that, hey, you don't need to go with their ways. We can protect you. We have shelter, food. This is the way the future is supposed to be. Yeah. And I think she gets caught. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. This is a very sad picture, you guys. Um, Carol looks to be very sick with something. She has... Th those aren't moles. Those are boils. Those are boils. Those are something. You know, we don't know how much she... Those, every, are, those are gross. Everyone has drank the water, so we just don't know how people's bodies are reacting because Sadiq is not sick. Um, uh, what's his face? Um, Dante. Dante, my gosh. I so it, it's, it's you know? not something that is being passed via airborne or or that we, saliva that we believe. That we believe. I don't know what would cause this, but she looks bad. And she looks like she's in the jail cell, so... Who knows if maybe the Whisperer is carrying well, something Well, we also on him. saw it in the picture with her and Daryl off to the side where it's slowly starting to or it could appear. Have... And then we get this picture where it's obviously gotten a lot worse because yeah. you don't see it on her chin in the previous photo. Right. And you do here. So it's obviously spreading and getting worse for Carol. Yeah. It's kind of sad. So we're going to find out what this sickness is because I can't figure out what the heck it could be yeah stay um, tuned guys we have a separate video separately for separate video separately for <laughs> rosita uh but this obviously showing rosita in a uh, very sick state yeah so just another shot quick shot here of a whisper probably just closing his eyes and like you know kind of what alpha was doing like i wonder if that's what they do they feel the sun and well, they no it's, I don't know. it's kind of what uh, Gamma's sister was doing, feeling the sun, looking uh -huh. up at the sun, missing those moments where um, that you have life and, and you don't get these moments when you're covered in a whisperer mask. Yeah. So who knows if he's, just, he's defecting. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I doubt it. I doubt it too. So just another shot here of Gamma and Aaron. Looks like she's walking away. So maybe they just had Definitely a daylight meeting. Daylight one, yeah. Where we see Alpha also in the daylight. I'm yeah. wondering if this is... Right after that. Or before she meets Alpha. But I want to know from Aaron. I want to hear it from him. Like, is he you know, telling Michonne this? Do people know what he's doing? Or if he's just out there just Wouldn't doing what he needs to do? Wouldn't it be a pretty sweet do? dynamic of... Both of them are hiding a secret from their respective yeah. camps. Right. Yeah. So just another shot here. I think this is probably the woman who died. I think Sadiq is coming back into that room after they cleared the bed off and they're clearing everything up. And he's kind of just taking another moment thinking about it, maybe. And I hope it's not Rosita. I know. Yeah. I'll actually go back to that picture. Because it's a blue room. But it doesn't the, have the cross. The door is different. Yeah. Well, so. there's a shadow of a cross. Dude. There is a shadow of a cross. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> it looks different, though. Yeah, uh, the the the, uh, the, the two doorway. candles are not there either. Yeah. So another shot here of Gamma at night, mask off, sitting alone. I don't think it's in the Whisperer camp that we know of. It could be. After, Definitely could be. Could be or after meeting Aaron, she's just sitting there thinking. Who knows? I can't wait to find out. Yep. Um, and then the end here of the trailer. Dude. That is in the barn. He's in the barn. That is in the barn of the Whisper event. Yep. The heads being cut off. Yep. And there is blood. And the trailer ends with blood. So we are going to get... I think we're going to get confirmation. We're going to get confirmation and more info on this. Yeah. Yep. So there are some uh, pr promo photos here. So Father Gabriel and, you know, bring in uh, Rosita in, probably just bring her into the bed as she's sick. Uh, Father G and uh, Sadiq talking probably about her sickness and what's going on, trying to figure out Man, what's happening. Gabriel everybody. looks... Pretty worried. He's gonna, yeah, he's very concerned. In the jail cell, Daryl and Father Gabriel talking to the dude, trying to figure out what's going on. Just Definitely the same cell. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you go back one, uh, you can see the painting from Negan. Mm -hmm. um, yep. He painted a couple of cinder blocks, so definitely the same cell. Yeah, so they, they must move Lydia out or just you know get her out for protection. Well, she's so. obviously out with Carol. Yeah, definitely. So another shot here of Whisper, just you know, kind of do interrogating as much as they can, try to find out what's going on. 
And uh, there is a shot that they posted that Carol bringing in uh, food to him. So it's kind of like Carol's being nice. She's bringing in food. I'm sure she just probably wants to slit his throat, but she wants info. You know, she wants yeah, to it's, interrogate. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Um, and obviously there, they're checking him out before, yeah. you know, making sure he's good. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see his point of view. Look, he's getting at least sun peering onto his face. He's getting fed. He's getting medical attention. Mm -hmm. Will he start defecting? Yeah. Will it change his mind? Will it... But I just want to hear the philosophy, you know, hear him speak about how, I, what he feels about Alpha and how the yeah. his view basically yeah. is. I think when we first see Daryl threatening him, that's when they first get him into the yeah. cell. He's yeah. bloody. It, it's it's their first reaction to trying to get information from him. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we, we see this friendlier banter. Right. Um, probably because he's realizing, good look, cut, this is cut. good. Yeah. Good cut, bad cut kind of thing. So... Uh, this is the shot of them probably bringing him right in the beginning. I, yep, he is hurt, so I think uh, maybe maybe Carol did shoot him with an arrow, and that's why he got hurt in his left shoulder. So to capture him, um, another night shot here of Carol. Don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's out with Lydia doing stuff, or not, she's not sure. sick yet. So I'm wondering yeah. if this is the events of them getting to Alexandria. Yeah, maybe you might be right. Probably just killing a walker, maybe yep. as they're making their travels back. Uh, just a concerned look of Aaron. I think that's, you know, during the meetings with Gamma. Find out what that is. There you go. Nice shot here. <laughs> so, um, crazy. It's very bright, but I think they did it for the picture. Yeah. It's not like a street lamp. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, a cool shot of here, Lydia. She's going to be out with um, with uh, with Carol, and her yeah, face is still healing up. It's going to be interesting being. to see how they mix this up or what they're doing with Lydia. That's what the most interesting yeah, thing here. Definitely. Uh, so Sadiq probably just talking with another person of Alexandria, um, just being sick, talking to him, seeing how he's doing. Yep. Now look at that shot right there. Look at Carol's hand. She is starting to get sick. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. If she punched, maybe the, maybe that was maybe after they brought the guy back, maybe mm -hmm. it's just blood yeah. from pulling the arrow out or of his arm. Or his mask off. Yeah, that too. But it's, I mean, look at Daryl's face. Like, he does not like this. He... Carol is trying to tell him this is the old, this is something we have to but, do. But you also have to think that he's looking upon someone that is obviously getting sick. So he could, there could be a look of concern there. Or getting a feeling sick of concern. She's still sleep deprived, yeah. taking pills and all that kind of stuff. So he's just, I think he's a little hurt that she's keeping a lot from him yeah. right now. So that's it for the promotional photos, guys. It's it's going to be an amazing episode. I know some of you have probably already watched it. So please don't send any spoilers in the comments. But uh we cannot wait for this, and we're almost to the mid-season finale. I know, it's nuts. <laughs> and it's going to be, these next two episodes are going to be just crazy. It's going to be insane. So uh, we, we're hoping that we can actually be able to give you guys a reaction for the mid-season finale. Once again, we, we would love to do more reactions for you guys. It just, you know, weekends can be a little crazy, schedules and things like that. But we definitely want to try and do more for you. But uh, we appreciate you checking out our predictions and our reviews. We're getting a lot of good feedback from you guys, and we definitely enjoy uh, you know, talking to you guys through the comments on the reviews. So. Yeah, Thank you guys so guys. much. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're always notified when we upload new content. Follow us at Knock Pro Nation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're Knock Pro Nation. We're out.